The drawings I am producing for Sandstorm were inspired by the many hours I spent as a kid sitting at the kitchen table filling elementary school workbooks with galaxies full of Star Wars characters and epic space battles. By picking up felt-tip markers and a number two pencil again, I am hoping to recapture some of the energy, excitement, and yes, even the struggle I felt while learning to draw as a child. I feel that drawing is an appropriate way to pay homage to the Star Wars trilogy, since the pre-production phase of the movies relied heavily on hand-drawn elements such as storyboards, concept art, and costume design. The cinematic spectacle that is Star Wars would have never happened without the work of dozens of dedicated artists creating thousands of incredible drawings in advance with only paper and pencil. With more than 30 years of drawing experience under my belt, I recently discovered that I had fallen out of love with it. The ever-present excitement and motivating struggle to improve my skills had faded somewhere over the years. In conceiving the Sandstorm series, I took some time to look back at the drawings I did as a kid in the 1970s. In doing so, many fond memories soon came flooding back. I realized that, for the good of the series, my 30-year-old artistic modus operandi needed to make a return engagement. A dramatic shift in my methods was needed to recapture the spirit of play I used to feel when drawing my favorite subject. Unsure of what part this return to form should play, I soon remembered an old adage used in graphic design. It said that if you needed to create drawings that looked like a child had drawn them, use your left hand. Fascinated by this idea, I dug out some antique, spiral-bound Star Wars notebooks I had saved along with my action figures. I tried to picture myself at that kitchen table again like I was back in 1977. Here we see some of the results of my experiment in time travel. I soon realized that trying to draw like a child worked better if I didn't try to draw like a child, and instead decided to try my very best with the limited dexterity available with my left hand. That led to the unique drawing style that you now see in the Sandstorm series. I've decided to look at the gentler side of the Star Wars trilogy with these drawings and try to find the poignant and heroic moments hidden between the moving picture frames. This shift in approach will give the drawings a lighter feel as well as assist in balancing out the darker mood of the paintings. The best part of this experiment is that many of these original drawings are being offered as incentives for supporters of the Sandstorm project. For a donation of just $25 to my Indiegogo campaign, you can request your own Star Wars character or scene, and I will create a custom 9 by 12 inch drawing for you as a thank you. Please visit Indiegogo.com Sandstorm to find out how. Taking my years of drawing experience away from my right hand and giving it to my left has helped me to not only relearn the basics, but also find a fun and challenging way to revisit a little of what inspired me to become an artist a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away.